Hello travelers! I am Lorkeen, your traveler's guide to Tyria. In our last episode we visited the battleground plaza and witnessed the epic competitions between some very renowned Asuran labs and their golems. I hope I didn't give you the wrong impression, the Asura are prolific in many technologies, not just robotics and artificial intelligence. Take the Opticalium lab for example. They are not interested in splashing in the water or playing in the dirt and wind, like other Asura we know. Instead, the crew from Opticalium are heavily involved with renewable energy and battery storage, or as their leader Zeb likes to say, the 3E, electricity, energy, and escalation. And their motto? Opticalium innovates while other crew is salivate. So this lab's particular genius is electromagical conduction, and the sparks around their lab are proof of that. They have developed a myriad of inventions in their pursuit of electromagical domination, like the generators that produce storm clouds. These devices might look familiar to you, as we've seen them used by Proji of Aeronautics, empowering his masterpiece Golem Arrow. Another invention of the Opticalium crew is the Conductor Sphere, a mobile conductor, that allows you to capture wild energy created either by these storm cloud generators or by the roaming sparks. This captured energy can be safely stored in an energy container. If you happen to have a clump of swamp moss, you can charge it at this specially charged energy storage tank, so you can use it in the crafting of the legendary backpack at infinitum. In fact, the Opticalium produces so much energy that air elementals are constantly assaulting the crew. And when it's not the air elementals, the inquests are attacking, trying to take over the lab. Chief! Chief! We have a problem of epic proportions! Is it the synthesizer matrix again? I told them to set it to three degrees. It's not that this time, this is different! Inquest agents are approaching! If it isn't one thing, it's another! Alert the crew! Opticalium! We are taking over this operation in the name of the Inquest! Leave now, without your research, and no harm will come to you. Abandon our research to you reprobates? To the care of inferior intellects and imaginations? I would rather lose a few brain cells. I'm reassured when the worst thing to come out of an inquest agent's imagination is murder. Close by we find another lab, in Comp Optics. No, they are not dealing with light, like Opticalium. Instead they are into defense. Yes, I know, we are back at Golems. But according to their researchers, Incomp Optics is not just any lab. All the other crews look on them with a combination of awe and jealousy. At least they would if they had the intelligence they possess at Incomp Optics. Oh, the shin section's welded to the thigh section, and the thigh section's welded to the hip section. <laughs> Let me guess. First day? This crew used to occupy a tiny shack just outside Sorendra, but they had to move upwind of the other labs. They'll tell you it's because of a most malodorous scent, either from the other labs' materials or personnel. The truth is they were asked to move because of all their banging and clanging that were keeping the neighborhood up at night. Crew leader Mod is not willing to share too much information on what they are doing, but it seems their prototype defense golem is beyond keen. Lore keen? Anyway, so far, their Dev 1250 golem has exceeded all expectations in preliminary tests. Or so they say. When our new Dev 1250 is complete, it will be absolutely unstoppable. But then, what if we need to stop it? Oh, there will be a switch in back. This lab is producing a lot of scrap heap, and Researcher Kai is in charge of managing this. It doesn't sound very glamorous, but it's an important job nonetheless. Kai would appreciate some help with training his scrap ADT Proto Golem. Its controls are a sophisticated leap ahead of its predecessors while remaining easy to operate. You don't need any knowledge in complex large language models, the Skolem will simply follow you around and make a note when you disrupt an electrical distortion. You may encounter other decommissioned or obsolete scrap ADTs in the scrap heap. Be kind and repair them!
The DEF 1250 filtration module is being primed for the next test phase. Wadi just needs your assistance in working a few bugs out. What sort of bugs? Fireflies, mostly. So, uh, whose idea was it to construct a microtechnorium on the banks of a swamp anyway? The swampy area is at the base of Jester Falls. But 250 years ago, this waterfall was called Riven Earth Falls, like the map that was hosting it. The waterfall was decorated with a bunch of mysterious big heads. In our episode about the Hylic tribes of Kaladin Forest, we speculated that these big heads might be the same ones that you see now around the Witchmire Swamp and Tears of Ileahal. Some Redditors disagreed and I'm digressing. But even today, this place holds a secret. There is a cave behind it, and there you will find a veteran Crazy Inquest researcher and her crazed animal minions. The Crate are genius social engineers. I envy their work programs. But I promised you more science. So here we are at PRNT Esoterics, a lab invested in biology research. More precisely, they're investigating the color changing properties of Uzenarius Ecclesius. Have you noticed how much more serene the lab seems today? Absolutely. I'm relieved those irksome Silvari ooze huggers abandoned their protest and left. Maybe now we can do our jobs in peace. If you want to participate in the research at this lab, Senior Researcher Taka will give you a colored key card that you can place on the turrets, and then observe how they create an imitation of Uzenarius Ecclesius. You can also help by poking PR and Team Mini Ooze projection to collect sludge. But whatever you do, don't forget to recalibrate the hyperstatic arc aligner, or else it will produce an ooze projection. The good news is that you can slay it to fill the PR and T ooze sludge reservoir. Hey, is it true that box in the corner is the timeout room for lollygaggers? I don't know. Why don't you ask that lollygagger zine whenever they let him out? If they ever let him out. Taka, the lead researcher in the heart of this lab, built this entire structure with her own two hands and a dozen construction golems. There is a reason why she picked this little hole in the rocks. After her graduation for College of Synergetics, Taka came here with her sole partner, to celebrate with a picnic down by the water. He decided to surprise her with a bouquet of colorful oozes he saw under a tree. She graduated at the top of her class. He, didn't. The colorful assortment of oozes attacked him, enveloped, digested, and excreted him. Like ants at a picnic, only worse. So Taka dedicated her life to the study of oozes, hoping to find useful applications for them and cause them as much discomfort as scientifically possible to satisfy her bloodlust. Who said the Asura can't be romantics? For your efforts here, among other things, Taka will sell you a jar of ooze, for the uncanny camera collection, and a model RX-11 rifle, whose excessive use has been linked to hearing loss in script. If you think this place is weird now, 250 years ago, spiders were worshipping dead dinosaurs here. Moving on, here we find another Asura who seems to love to camp by the water, Fix. He is among few of the people who know the scientific significance of Hylak poison, so he is on a mission to take their most precious commodity and you can help. Follow my lead. These Hylak crave civilization. <laughs> we'll have no trouble with them. What about Pim? They brought him back in pieces. Pim was an idiot. He didn't understand the subtleties of dealing with an inferior race. When we get to the Hylic camp, I'll do the talking. Whatever you do, don't mention their double chins. They hate that. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, don't mind me. I just need some samples and then I'll be out of your, uh... hair... He's taken our poison. Chief Sipakli will be displeased. Grab him and inform the chief. Hello. I am your friend. I have gifts for your king. Our king? We have no king. We have a chief, and he is not happy with you. Ha! You're funny. So, now we <laughs> trade. I want your poison. You can have some of our poison. Ah, 
I had those Heilig eating out of my hand, I tell you. It's a good thing I built up resi- resi- resistance <laughs> to their poison. Doesn't affect me one bit. Don't try this at home, children. <laughs> hmm. You know, the Heilig aren't so bad. I think they like me. The Inquest are also aware of the importance of the Hylek poison, and they have weaponized a new concentrated version of it, which drives the late creatures crazy and turns them into slavering beasts. The Inquest have their own lab, Aquanian Research Group, hidden deep underwater. For these nefarious reasons, the Inquest keep infiltrating the camp of the Durot tribe, down by Loch Ness. I mean Loch Jest. And they are stealing the Hylek poison by installing ampules that collect and process it. Hylek, Hylek, Froggy Finn, ain't got a pot to put poison in. Are you crazy? You're going to get us killed! Oh yeah? If they come after me, I'll tear them to rivets. The Durod are the orange type of Hylek, and if you forgot what that means, here's a reminder. Psst! Hey, what can you see up there? Just a bunch of Hylek standing around. What color are they? You mean, they're available in different colors? Yeah. The red ones are mean, blue ones are nice, and yellow ones don't bother you if you don't bother them. Well, and these are all bright mean. But this tribe has one green member, Akua, and she is willing to let you test your might against her, for which she gives you a hero point. If you want to show your gratitude for this, you can help Blob stop the inquest from bothering this tribe. He needs a bit of help as he is short-handed since that ignoramus fix wandered off. Blob has developed his own countermeasures against the inquest. He is using a specific type of kelp to infuse his countermeasure harpoon, which can then neutralize the Hylak poison. If you are crafting the legendary staff Nevermore, Blob will name you a friend of the lake. My dad told me that all Hylic are amphibious. Well, my mom told me there's nothing wrong with that. Some creatures are just naturally born that way. A bit northwest of the Durot grounds, we find two researchers researching the inverse parabolic flux dampening that happens around this bridge that has been floating for ages, with no apparent means of support. These researchers speak the truth. 250 years ago the chasm was greater, so the bridge was higher up giving you a fantastic view of the Riven Earth Falls. And here we are at the last lab from Hinderlabs, Splorg Metamystics. This is probably the most important lab of them all, as they produce a brand new generation of scientists. Hey Yara, your mama's IQ is so low, she thinks Norn cows go moot. Oh yeah? Your mama's IQ is so low, she thinks crafting is something you do on the Kriver. Well, your mom was like he was so low, she thinks Silvari and Gollum are precious metals. Here we can assist in multiple classes. Professor Goff is the heart of this lab and if you want an A+, help him with handling these apparatuses that teach the youngsters about advanced psychokinetics, creation of energy and Golmancy 101. The inquests are also hard at work in recruiting a new generation of delinquents, so it might be a good idea to keep an eye on the impressionable or unruly progenies. Your mama's IQ is so low, she thinks Blood Legion is something you should see a doctor about. Your mama's IQ is so low, she thinks Elemental is four letters in the middle of the alphabet. Your mama's IQ is so low, she thinks a golem answer is what you get when you ask a golem question. No, but seriously. Your mom is really smart. Yeah, yours too. But one of the most entertaining classes in this school are those of Professor Ham, who has a practical approach to his teaching. For testing the progeny's knowledge of advanced pyrokinetics, he will summon embers, which in turn will heat up the situation quite a lot. Luckily, the classes come with aquabody suit dispensers installed. In case of emergencies, these devices will spray fire snuff coating allowing for the fires to be put out. 
Okay, that was dangerous, so for now let's just try some good old fashioned biology study. I've tamed a live drake especially for this lesson. Whoa! Excelsiorific! Oh no! The beast has become untamed! Maybe using holograms is a better idea for a safer class activity. We'll continue our lesson by examining the exotic creature known as the Doliak. <sighs> Doliak? That's not exotic, it's domestic. Commonly domesticated by the Norn, yes. But there are Doliak who exist in the wild. Why does this matter? When am I ever going to use my knowledge of Doliaks in the real world? Open your minds. There is nothing that cannot teach us a lesson, if we examine it closely enough. I want to see a real Dolia. Ha-ha! <laughs> ah, what are you doing? Stand back, progeny. We've been presented with an alive and enraged Doliak. That's the worst kind. Maybe we should change the subject. Surely simple potion making will be a fun and safe hands-on activity. Using only the supplies around you, and your knowledge of the elements, concoct a simple potion. Huh? I don't What's feel happening so me? good. Don't worry, these effects will only be temporary. Fine, let's try some theory, and maybe if nobody touches anything, we can survive this class. For our next lesson, we're going to explore the concept of size. Never capitulate! Each of you should have a sizema changer at your station. You don't touch them until I show you how they work. What does this button do? I said not to touch anything! Sizema changers are not toys. Anything can be a toy, if you throw caution to the wind. Ha <laughs> ha! Where did everyone... Oh, Be foul no this locale no more! step on a progeny! Feeling tired? I don't blame you, teaching has always been a demanding profession. Fortunately, the bottom of the lab is dedicated to marine research, with a viewing tank. So we can join Professor Flora and her progenies for a bit of relaxation. Sure, a king hermit crab might manage to escape the tank and attack us, but that event rarely happens. Still, if looking down on things is not your thing, we can join Professor Gaz and give stargazing a try, it is said to help clear the mind and improve one's focus. And no, the rest of the students are not sleeping. They're just enveloped in their own minds. For individual studies, the school offers some interesting supplies, like this empty bottle of excitement used in crafting the legendary ring coalescence. And Doka's is one of a few merchants that can sell you bottle of experimental ooze booze for legendary hammer. The Juggernaut. If you feel nostalgic, as an ex-student of this school, you might check with love on the well-being of your own teacher, Professor Nikri. Bad news, the challenge of teaching so many challenging progeny the basics of the eternal alchemy proved more than his intellectual infrastructure could bear. He moved up to the college level, since he was always the mystical sword anyway. The College of Synergetics was a perfect fit for about a year, but then he was let go for running through the lab in his underwear. Shouting I am Yakington, fear me. Assisting the progeny in their lessons requires quick thinking, intelligence, and physical hardiness. Cleaning the labs after them requires patience and a hard stomach. That's why janitors like Shepa are truly indispensable members of any school staff. Whatever you might think of this place, Splorg Metamystics is considered the top pre-college for young Asura progeny, who leave this place overqualified to enter any of the specialized colleges. And the best proof of that is Ruby, whose presence here is entirely out of respect for tradition. She created her first golem before she was able to properly hold a wrench. Cruz will be competing over her. Go! Deliver this top secret device I've been working on a fate. He may curse, and he may scowl, but he will have no choice but to acknowledge my brilliance! Beep. Love letters delivered as directed. You did what? Those were not in the package! Beep! Message reply commencing. Ruby, have I ever told you that I find you to be irredeemably nefarious and diabolical? Your iniquitous mind is a beautiful thing, 
We must collaborate at your earliest convenience. How could you deliver the wrong... Wait. He thinks my mind is a beautiful thing? In case you didn't recognize her yet, this NPC is named after none other than Ruby the Eternal Monarch of the Community Bear. As an extra fun fact, the name of her golem, EAC001, comes from the initials of Ruby's children. Yes! Yes, one final attunement! Aha! Now, Gollum, show the world the vastness of my genius! I am a... Gollum. It works! My vision has been made whole! Gollum, you are the final piece in the puzzle that is my plan for total domination of... The Hinterlabs! And speaking of plans, you can uplift ours by hitting that like button. And while you're there, Subscribe and check the notification icon, because next time we will visit the old factory, to see what remains of the old golem site. But until then, happy exploring!